The light is shining like God. But is Yilmaz going to leave Rangers? Potentially. Fenerbahce not only took Ryan Kent off their hands, even though, you know, others on a free. Looks like they're eyeing a return to Turkey for Redfan Yilmaz. I don't know why I said his name pretty weird, but it says Turkish Giants Fenerbahce have been linked with a move for Rangers left back Redfan Yilmaz and a potential Ibrox reunion with Ryan Kent in Istanbul. According to Turkish outlet Photospor, Fenerbahce are plotting a potential move for Rudvan Yilmaz amid the Super League side stuttering interest in Sassalou fullback Mert Muldur. I had no idea who he is personally, but we need to keep Yilmaz Barisic. I think we've got to replace Barisic. And that's keeping Yilmaz. Yilmaz is our starting left back. I think he cement himself into that role. Um, but it looks like the move for the other guys, uh, Muldur, is breaking down, so it looks like they want Yilmaz. But we need to keep Yilmaz, man. Like, once you use Yil use once you lose Yil <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on? What's going on out there? Someone, some dogs found out Yilmaz is leaving. The dog just can't handle it. Um, but as for this, we need to keep him, right? He should be our full back, our left back for years to come. And um, I think the best is yet to come as well. He's definitely getting better with each game, but we'll see how it goes. Personally, I think we should we should only accept a deal if it's like ten million, but again, that would be like double what we spent for him. So I think that would be fair enough business. Probably be able to bring someone else in. But personally, I wouldn't accept anything for him. But I think like I think like ten million probably would be decent enough for him. In other news, but in other news, guys, Jose Cifuentes. It looks like it's going to happen. Looks like now Rangers are finally <laughs> going to pay the fee. For him. It says Rangers set to sign LFA, oh, LAFC midfielder Jose Cifuentes immediately after initially agreeing a pre-contract. But boom, they want it. They're going to pay the one point whatever million. I don't know why it's dragged on so long. I guess Rangers need some transfers to uh, deal with us to the end of time. Because, you know, you can't just make all your signings in one day. You need to drag it out. Looks better for Rangers. So the moral of the story is Rangers, just pay the money. Cifentes, 1.2, 1.5, it doesn't really matter. Looks like it's getting done, and I don't know why it's took so long, but I think the fact that they already had him on a pre-contract, they knew they could wait. They knew they could drag this out if they truly, truly wanted to, and that's exactly what they've done. Um, and the MLS season has now got a month break uh, due to the cross US and Mexican Leagues Cup competitions, and due to this, obviously, it's like, their off season, I guess you could say it's their January transfer window, so to speak. Um, of course, we have a bit of a break. We've got like what twenty one days, three week break in there. So hopefully we can get this over the line because Cervantes will be crucial for our season. I have no doubt. Same with Danilo, get that over the line, and then a left side at centre back. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? But we also have Servette taking on Gank later. I'm not really bothered about like, which team we get. I mean, I think I would rather Savet, but I think we should beat either one of them. Um, and no, if we win, it gets us five million, which is obviously crucial. But I mean, I think Young Boys beat Savet six one. Itton got a hat trick. I've seen that roaming about Twitter that you know Cedric getting can pump a hat trick against him. And what can Rangers do? Uh, so hopefully we can get the job done. I'm not too bothered, but I will be back later. I'm not saying I'll do a match with you for it, but in the transfer news or the whatever fed upload later, I will talk about the result of that game. Hell, might even refute over in Fog Football. I've loads of games over there tonight via Play Cup, Champions League, Europa Conference League. Check out Fog Football. But until next time, peace.